Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to work on So Many Books, So Little Time from Diamond Art Club. It's a 56 by 109, 53 colors. And here we go. I'm on the last section of this row and we're gonna start with T. I'm actually drinking coffee. <laughs> no, the letter T and it's 8.95, the DMC. Oof, there's a lot. There's a lot of teas. Okay, so today is, what's, what's the date today? Tuesday. Feels like Monday, because um, it was a holiday yesterday. So Dave was home. I worked like it was a regular day, because when I don't have the baby, I have to work so because then now I have her like tomorrow and the next day right so that meant if I didn't work yesterday then it's one less day that I can do stuff I think I filmed I think it was only two videos so I didn't go ham like I normally would do like well one less than normal, but one of them was I am organizing or cleaning my craft room right now. I guess right now you would call it cleaning. Once I finish the cleaning, I think I'm going to zoom out a little bit. There. Um... Once I finish the cleaning, then I'm going to be organizing. This section that I'm doing right now, though, is if you don't do scrapbooking, it's with papers and embellishments and all that. And I had, I like to make page kits. Well, I had, must have been 75 page kits that you know I worked through them and so there were still papers and embellishments in them and so I went through all of that this weekend I think I have two left and both like and like plastic bags had so much stuff in it I'm like you know what I'm just I'm done <laughs> I'm done for today and I'll pick up next week with just those two left to do. And at first I did my desk. My desk was completely clean, but in order to clean that up, I had to, you know, put the stuff on my desk because this was bags that were in containers or overflowed onto the floor. I'm just drinking my coffee because right after this, I got to keep going. Um, so there's no way I could like sit on the floor and do that. So that's why I clean my desk first. And then I use my desk, you know, to organize stuff and take everything out of the bags and all that good stuff. And... Um, Anyway, so my desk is a little messy right now, but all is good. As soon as I get that organized, then my desk will be clean again because it's all in, in um, piles. So all in piles. Uh, there's a little burr on this. Anyway, it, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of work to get organized, right? And I was just so, we were just so busy the last like after Christmas, that I just got things done and then I would, you know, get out get out of there, get out of the craft room because I had things to do 
in the house, you know what I mean? Like I had to make supper, clean the dishes. So unfortunately that room, out of sight, out of mind, <laughs> you know, it kind of got, uh, ignored. So now it's time to get it together. Finally had our last tournament last week, not this past weekend, but the weekend before that. So it's like, okay, now we don't have hockey for a few months. I'm going to get that totally organized, totally. In books, am I reading in books right now? I am, I'm just reading one book. I don't know. Sometimes I'm in the mood to, I have like three or four books on the go. I guess I have two books on the go. One of them is an audiobook. So when I'm cleaning or when I'm walking, I'm listening to it and it's a huge one. So it's The Wheel of Time, The Shadow Rising, which is the fourth book in the series. And I think it's 1,050 pages. So it's like 39 hours of listening. Although I listened to it at 1.75. So it's like it was 24. I think I'm down to 16. So making some good progress there. But it is, it is um, going to take me probably, I'll probably finish it in June, right? I'll probably have a good chunk of it done by the end of May, but I don't think it'll be done. Because when I go walking with Dave, I don't put those on. Like we went for a 5K walk yesterday. Well, I didn't listen to my book while we were walking or we're talking instead, right? So that did not happen yesterday but today that's why I started early today it wasn't even eight o'clock I think it was 7 58 though so pretty close to eight we'll say eight and I'm gonna do an hour and a half and I'm gonna go upstairs yesterday I sat down after I finished filming and then I edited one, two, three videos, three videos. And um, then the rest of the afternoon I read, felt good to read. I'm reading The Catch by Amy Lee. I'm really enjoying it. I, I don't think the ratings for it are really high, but I'm enjoying it. And it might be because the book um, happens in my neck of the woods. Like she goes to Nova Scotia, which is the next province next to me. She's from Boston and goes to Nova Scotia. So I don't know. It just feels like another drink of coffee. It just feels like it's like my neck of the woods. You know what I mean? So it's kind of, it's kind of fun. I like their banter. I didn't start it yesterday. I started it the day before. I guess on Goodreads, I put start reading the night before, but I didn't start reading. I had just finished a book and I always like to pick my next book right away and put it up on Goodreads. Not necessarily that I'm gonna start reading it right away. It's usually the next day. If I finish a book, it's like, uh, you know, I'm good. I'm just going to take a little break until the next day. So really, I started started it two days ago, and I'm at 50%. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. 25% <laughs> a day, which is 100 pages because it's, uh, I think it's 416. The book, I went to pick up a book last week. I think I mentioned that before. I went to pick up, 
Steel Striker, which is the second book. The first one was Sky Hunter. I finished Elusive. That was really good. I think I mentioned that one before, that my library has the first book, but not the second book. It's like, ugh. So now I'm going to have to buy the book. I think I'm going to read a few books in between. Like, I'm going to finish Steel Striker. Steel Striker is what I'm going to read after the catch. Because, again, it's a library book. So, I'm at 39 books read, or 40 books. 40, I think. And I'm like, okay, this is a good time to do a little check-in. We're not quite halfway through the year, but why wait till you're halfway through the year? Let's see if I am reading books off my TBR. No, I'm not. Only one fourth. So I have, it's either, no, it's nine books out of 40. The rest are from the library, which yay, I'm supporting, still supporting the, you know, the writers and the library, but I gotta read my own stuff. So June, there's going to be a couple of books that are going to come available from my library. I think The Women and The Will of the Many, and that'll be the only two books. But of course, one of, one of them is 604 something pages. The other one is almost 500 pages. So that's 1100 pages. I'll probably only be able to read, you know, four or five more other books with big books like that, two big books, but well, I'll see. It might have been a little bit more. I don't think I counted um, e-books, which yes, they're not in my physical TBR, but they're still books that I purchased or I got for free, you know, or I discount and they're on my Kindle, so. And like The Shadow Rising, for example, it's not a physical book, but it's a, you know, book, an audio book that I purchased from Audible. So it's still a book that I invested in and I need to read. You know what I mean? It's still, on, it's on my virtual shelf, but it's still on my shelf. So I need to, because I paused my Audible subscription. You can do that. You can pause it for a few months because I'm like, we have so many books that we've purchased that we need to listen to that, oh, I need to get that other little container to put my little scraps. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get a glue dot to put in there. See, if I don't do it before, there's no way I'm going to remember to do it just before I start a session. <laughs> there's no way. No way, no how. I don't think I have any glue dots down here. I should probably finish the sections that I started, eh? Because that's how I'm going to forget things. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's all. Yeah, there's a lot of teas. <laughs> Next, we'll do something else in that little section. I don't know if I'll be able to finish all of this today. I'm hoping, I'm hoping only to spend um, two sessions or two times in this. Now this, we're getting really up to date, if you will, because this I'm going to upload tomorrow. So I'm not way ahead like I was anymore. Because doing two, uploading two a week, 
you blow through your your reserves pretty quickly, but I'm behind, so I gotta get caught up. Now I have the baby Wednesday and Thursday, so that means Friday morning I have to do another DP video if I want one for Saturday. Oof, and I have the baby Monday and Tuesday next week, so I might film on Wednesday and upload on Wednesday next week. Okay, that should be fun. <laughs> uh. It's it's hard to get ahead when, you know, there's a few days a week, like last week, I had three days that I couldn't film, you know? Monday, Monday, Tuesday, no, yeah, and Friday, I couldn't film. So that's what it's gonna be like next week, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, so I can only film Wednesday and Thursday. Yikes. I don't know. DP is not a really good video to try to film at night, but maybe some of my other ones. The problem is after watching a little one all day, I really, really, really don't feel like working anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna have another drink of coffee. Mm -mm. So I have a live this afternoon. I just am reminding myself because hopefully, I've never forgotten one. Now, have I messed up on the time? Yep, just a couple weeks ago. I think right now, because I'm trying to catch up, doing a live at nine in the morning is just not feasible. Because, you know, when you have the most energy when you just first get up. So I usually film a whole bunch and then I do my live. And I think I want to go for my walk this morning. Last week, I walked all seven days. I did 34 kilometers, 34 kilometers, which is awesome. And this week we didn't walk on Sunday, but it, I almost did it because I wanted to kind of switch it. So now I start, cause my Clever Fox planner, it starts on Mondays and I needed the break, right? After walking 34 kilometers, it was like, okay, I need to take one day break. So I might as well do it Sunday and then I can change when I start counting. So yesterday we went for a 5K walk and I wanna go just before the live, probably hopefully at 11, hopefully at 11 I can go, maybe walk three and a half or four, I don't know what I'm gonna walk. Depends, it's gonna be so hot. That's why I don't wanna go after my live because it's gonna be, I think, 27 or 28 degrees, which I think that's about 80, I think. And for us, that's, that's really hot. <laughs> that's really, really hot. Oh, another thing I have to do too is put my tomatoes and peppers and all that for an hour on the deck, so I think when I go for my walk, just before I go, I'm gonna put them out. And then I'll bring them in when I come back, just about, or go in the shower and then bring them in after. And then 
that'll be all ready for the live. I don't have to prep anything because my desk has so much stuff on it. Like so many papers, pattern papers, they're all in a pile and so many cardstock and the embellishments. I'm gonna make pages using what's on my desk. And I also wanna make five page kits. I'm hoping that I can do that before the live. If not, I'll do it after. It's, it's not a big deal. I'll do it after the live. Okay, let's make sure there's no T's here. Okay, now we can start up here. Just like that. Okay. Woohoo. Hopefully, I'll still have a little bit of energy after the live and maybe able to film one more thing. I think I kind of put a lot on myself this morning. It's like, okay, I want to film three, and this is an hour and a half, right? And then do two more. No, three more after this. No, two more, good. It, I should be able to do that in in two hours, an hour each. Because the page kits are prepped, so ready to go. I just got to tear into them and go. I like to get them kind of ready to go before I start like this. That has a little burr on it. Okay. Last sections with T. Oh, I forgot a T right there. There you go. I'm just going to start up here just to have a little change of scenery. What are we watching? Oh, we watched um, The Amazing Race. It's all done. I think the people that won deserved it. There's nobody I disliked anymore. Like, I think they're doing better with their editing and they're making it so, like before they always made people, some of them look like little villains, you know what I mean? So you were like, oh, I don't like this couple or whatever because all they did was show them fighting and stuff and being mean to each other, you know? I think they they do better at not showing people's vulnerable times, you know? And um, and it's good, you know? I don't, I don't wanna, they still show some, but not like before, I don't find. Oh. Like I said, I have enough drama. You know, you have enough drama in your day-to-day -day life without sitting down at night and listening to drama. <laughs> I mean, a lot of shows are drama, I guess. They're considered that, but I, I sit down to relax. Ooh, last night, I love making meals like that. So the other night, I made, I had a bunch over, uh, leftover of sourdough starter, like the discard, and it had to be used up. So I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? So I'm like, okay, well, we can make baked beans, and so I'll make biscuits for that. And I made three batches of waffles. I gotta make sure that I give some to Katie and to Mason, like, or, uh, Freezers are full right now of waffles. And uh, so I did that. And then Dave went to the grocery store 
and corn was on for a pretty good price. Nothing like way back, right? But it was 79 cents a corn or something like that. Maybe it was 10 for five. Anyway, I don't know what it was, but he, he had to get, he got 10. So I'm like, well, that's okay. He's like, we're going to have to eat corn every day. And I'm like, that's okay. So I kind of made meals around that. Oh, and on the weekend, I made a potato salad. Just made a small one. Um, now that it's only the two of us, what I do is I make smaller, smaller, you know, of one thing, which is really hard for me because I'm used to making a lot. But I mean, we still had enough for the whole weekend of eating. So Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then with that, one day we had chicken wings, a little bit of big, big beans with biscuits, and then uh, corn. What else? I think that's it. And then the next day we had our protein was Italian sausage. And then yet yeah, last night it was uh, pork chops and the same sides. You know what I mean? And love that. Love. Oh, sorry. Love that. I love being able to just have to do a little bit of stuff every night. And the rest is taken care of, which I love. Oh, and I made a sourdough bread. I baked it yesterday. I made it a few days ago, but I baked it yesterday. So. Okay. Do we have all, oh, I was gonna say, do we have all the teas and I, just saw one. Let's do one more check. V's. V's and Y's. Oh, this one here, but the cover was covering it a little bit, but I think I can do that one. Okay, I think we got everything. What, what? Should we do V's next? I think so. Because then it'll be another big section. So it's 34. And it's DMC 890. And it's a dark, dark, dark green. Love it. So let's start up here. Okay. Then down here. Okay. So, um, and we're still watching Survivor. I'm loving Survivor. I think the season finale is this week. That's why Amazing Race was on a Friday, which was weird. It's a good thing I saw the commercial for it because our PVR or whatever it is called now um, wasn't recording it, which we could have found it on demand. But So we recorded that and we watched it. And, oh, so we switched provider, right? And it was quite a bit less, quite a bit less. And, but they said, oh, we don't lock in the price. Well, in seven months, it creeped up $40, $40. I'm like, okay, so now we're almost at the point that we were before. So it's going to be just as bad. So our other provider that we, you know, went from them to the new provider, 
They stopped by yesterday and they're offering it at $86 tax included for internet TV. Uh, that's $40 a month. That's almost $500 a year. So I think we're going to do it. Like he's going to call our original provider, like the one we have now and say, if you can't provide and lock it in for three years, none of this back and forth, you know? So yeah, you gave us the good price for literally a month and then it's been creeping up ever since. Like literally I got the $90 for one month. And then after that, it was like, why is it 103? And then, okay, why is it 110? Now, okay, now it's 121. It's like, oh, it's frustrating. So if we can save $40, heck yeah. Heck yeah. That partially pays for another bill, right? <laughs> $40. Actually, we have uh, his mom's property next door and we still have power hooked up and it's just like, we never use it. So it's like 30, $35 or whatever. I keep saying that we should cancel that. It's a waste of money, but mm, I don't have a say in it. Um, so that would pay for that at least. Yeah, to me, yes, if we want to go in there and you know, we'll pay the connection fee. So what if it was $75, right? A few times we went in there, we didn't really need power to be in there. You could go during the day. And if we wanted to, you know, do renovations or whatever, then you connect for power, but Okay. Oof, it's hot. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. I think I'm gonna take my, I have a big sweater on. I think I'm gonna take that off. And keep going here. that zipper wasn't too loud. I don't think so. It wasn't obnoxiously too loud, but you never know. Okay. I got to figure out how to carry water with me. Like I bring a, a bottle along, but it's a pain in the butt to hold it, right? I like to have my hands free. I'm pretty sure you can get some kind of, you know, something to put on your, on your hips, I guess, and put a water bottle there. I, that's why I like to, to go walking with the stroller because then I just put my water bottle in the cup holder and I bring a little bottle of water for her or a cup of water for her and I give her I give her water once in a while, when it's, especially when it's really hot. Here, I think I'm gonna have to put some more in there. Still lots to do. I think I'm gonna go up here, just so I can stretch my arm here. Um, what else? Oh, I, I think since the last time, I've up-potted all my plants, like my tomatoes and my peppers. And I think I waited probably four days too long because they were looking pretty sad by the time I did it. And, um, but I just didn't have the, the time, you know? 
even the day that I did it, it was like, oh, I had my friend came over. She lives in Alberta now and she came over for a visit. She loves making soap. So I said, well, I need to make what I call the crafter's soap. I need to make a batch of that because I'm out. That soap will take stain out of anything. So I said, do you wanna come over? And I said, I'm out of shampoo bars and conditioner. And so I need to make some of that. And she was like, uh, yes. So she got here at eight o'clock in the morning. It was fun because she's like, because we used to, when she was my neighbor at the campground when we were there and we used to go for walks all the time. So she came in and she goes, do you want to go for a walk? And I'm like, heck yeah. So we went for a three and a half K walk. We got back and we started, you know, we made soap and then we made shampoo bars and then we made conditioner. And then we went out for lunch and then we came back. She wanted to know, um, cause she wants to start making it on her own. So, you know, I told her of some stores to buy the stuff and it's right next to where she is. It's in Alberta. <laughs> and um, so we went through and I was, you know, then, you know, I told her a couple stores and we were comparing prices and all that. So that took us like probably an hour. And her husband was done at 4.30. So she left here at four. So we had a whole day, right? And I'm like, I, cause I was getting, having the baby the next day and I'm like, so that means I can't up pot till Saturday. That's gonna be too long. So I went and I got the soil, I got all the plants and I spent an hour and a half up potting everything, but it was it was worth it. It was it was time to do it. Dave's done all my beds, but the guy that we got our soil from, he's out and he won't get any more. So now we have to find soil somewhere else. It's like no, <laughs> but it is what it is. I hope he gets some again next year. Ugh. Oh, well. So now we have to find some and fill our beds. I can't put stuff in the garden till the first week of June. So we still have like, you know, almost basically two weeks. But the beds are done so this weekend what he tried to uh, finish doing is we have a travel trailer that we bought in 2020 and before that we had a tent trailer well we still haven't sold our tent trailer there's a few things that needed to be fixed on it or whatever so that's what he started doing this weekend you know no more hockey we finally like you don't realize how much time well yeah we do <laughs> Uh, I don't think a lot of people realize how much time that stuff like that takes, you know, hockey. So now that hockey's done, we, he spent, well, he spent Saturday working, Saturday and Sunday actually, working on the beds. They're basically done except adding dirt into them oh and then he uh sunday too he did our beds in in front of our house because they were like all overgrown and so he cleaned all that out and then saturday sun no he had monday off because it was a long weekend here so yesterday he worked on that and this coming weekend we're hoping that he can finish uh that up I'm doing a live for my patrons on Saturday. So I'll be doing that on Saturday, but I told them, I said, Sunday, I can help you like clean it up or whatever. It's all clean on the inside. We just wanna um, just 
just want to give it another wash, you know, so I can help him do that. And then we can put it up for sale. I'm hoping by Sunday next week, we can put it up for sale, put it at the end of our driveway, put it up for sale. And just be done. And last year we brought our gazebo here and it's still sitting on our front lawn. So we wanna bring that in the back. So probably not next weekend because we wanna finish that, but the weekend after, then we'll work on that, bringing the gazebo in the back and setting it all up. So that'll be, that'll be good. Slowly but surely getting stuff done. Once the garden is in, then we're gonna, he's gonna start working on a chicken coop. Probably won't be ready for this summer, but I'm hoping to have chickens by next summer. So that way he'll have the whole summer to kind of chip away at it. We wanna wash our siding on the house. And that's, you know, a big reason that we didn't want to go back to this summer. Well, one, it was crazy price, but um, two, we have so much to do here, like just so much. So we're going to get that done. We are going to get that done. We're going to get stuff done this summer. Oh, and we want to clean out the garage too. So that's another, another thing to do. We're not going to be sitting idle doing nothing. And then we st obviously we still want to go camping, you know, a few times. So that's why we're starting like right off the bat, trying to get as much stuff done before July and August comes. Then we can go camping for a little bit. Here's some of them. When I push on it, they snap into place. I think rolling it will do, you know, kind of loosens them a little bit, but I have no other choice. I put everything away. Maybe later on in life, you know, I can have, but even at that, you know, you have a spot. What am I going to put it right in my living room? I don't think so. That means I would have to be segregated, which I guess during the day doesn't matter. At night, we usually only watch one show. Last night we watched, did we watch one or two? I think we watched two. We watched um, The Good Doctor. One episode of that and one episode of, we watched Chicago Fire was the other one. Yeah, one of each, one of each. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Then what? We'll get this done. Almost done with the V's. Just two little sections. And you know what? Those two colors pretty much finished everything. So I'm kind of glad I did those first. Get, you know, got them out of the way or whatever. Because it's big sections. Okay. Okay. Might as well finish this. So I'm going to a crop on June 1st. I'm so excited. So excited. It's a day thing, so it's not as if, you know, I have to go away the whole weekend. It's $20 for the day, which I paid for like a year ago because I paid for a day and then something happened and I couldn't go. Oh, I think a tournament got at it and we ended up going away for the weekend. So I uh, couldn't go. And she offered to give me my money back. And I said, well, just keep it there. And next time I want to go, it'll be paid for. So now it's paid for. I don't think she'll probably have any more in the summer. That's okay, because I'm hoping with one day, I'll be able to film enough videos for like, three months for YouTube, like for layouts and stuff. So that's gonna be good. And I'm going with my friend Karen, which I haven't seen, oh my gosh, forever. In forever, like a couple years, forever. So that'll be good, it'll be fun. It's before soccer starts. So that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. We'll get this done. Then what letter? Or not letter, but what symbol are we gonna do next? I think I'm gonna do the other green and just be done with it. I guess there's two more greens. Two more greens and then I'll be done with it. Then we'll move on to the blues. And then we still have this to do too. I think I'll keep that for last, last. I'm hoping that I can get all of that done in Oh yeah, I think I have enough time. I still have 40 minutes. Okay, let's get these here. it. Okay, so we'll do the lesser than. <laughs> so that's 39. I'm trying to put everything away too as I go. That way less things to put away and I can get upstairs really quickly. And that is 905, the DMC. First thing I'm going to do is a page and then I have to do a make a page kit video because I'm making page kits to go to that said crop 
I think I want to have about 20 pages. I might have a little bit more because when I was going through those pages, I found a couple that they're ready to go. They have like the pictures, they have like even the title, everything. So obviously I got them ready for another crop and they just got mixed in with the leftover stuff. So I just threw them in there. So we'll see. I hope the night before I get a good night's sleep, which lately I've been getting good night's sleep, which is good. Was that it for that symbol? I guess so. Without even like, sometimes I have to take sleeping pills. Like if, if I go two, three nights that I don't sleep well, then I'll take a sleeping pill, right? Because then I'm like so exhausted, you can't get anything done. So that's 38 and it's DMC 904. It's like a slanted triangle. Now, I think now it's gonna feel like everything comes together really quickly because it's little, little sections now instead of big ones. Also for Mother's Day, um, Jess and Mason got me a really cute flower and it's in like a little vase and stuff. Super cute. I have it on my windowsill. And my other daughter, she got me, um, it's like an embroidered sweatshirt. And it's made with the PJs of the, the two grandkids. So one PJ is Alexis, the other one is Mason's, the other one Alexis, the other one Mason. And it says Mammy on it, which, love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, I'm excited for that. Really excited. Okay. There's only a few more little sections. There. It's coming together so, I find so quickly now, but I think, you know, obviously if you're gonna work on it, you're gonna see progress. And during my live, people were asking for me to show my stash of Diamond Art Club paintings, which I have to say, it's not as big as what people were guessing, even me. And you know what, even when I said the number, I was like, mm -hmm, I don't think it's that much, but I'd rather overshoot than, I've been really good at not getting a whole bunch. I've been really good because I said, nope, you're not buying any more until you get some done because what's the point of, you know, getting all those and they just, I know some people say, well, I'm just collecting them and that's, that's fine. But for me, it's like, no, if I'm, if I'm not going to make them, then it's like just wasting money, you know? If you're getting one done a month and you're, you know, or two done a month and you're getting 24 done in, in a year, you know, then that's awesome. I don't. <laughs> My whole goal is, oh, I, I just want to finish this one, right? And then next year, choose another big one and finish that big one. So I have enough to get to do lots, you know, for the next quite a few years. 
unless at some point, if you know, I'm retired and I don't have Lexi anymore, and I'm not doing YouTube and I'm not doing Patreon and all that, then I might have time. So this is why, and it's DMC 797. Let's get that done, right? Why? Yep. Yeah. 797. So pretty. It's like a purplish blue. one that was up. Another one. There we go. There we go. I have to say it feels kind of weird that we're not at the trailer park this summer. But then Dave and I were talking and we're like, everything we got done this weekend wouldn't have gotten done because we would have been there because they were there already. So it wouldn't have gotten done. And for us, hockey season just finished, so it's not as if we could have done it before, right? We had four turn, uh, five tournaments in a span of like seven weeks. So you can't get much done when you leave on Thursday and you just get home on Sunday. <laughs> you you don't get much done. So now it's like okay. We'll get quite a few things done this summer. And then in a summer or two, like I said, we found another one that's way cheaper. So we might go over and see. And see if we can uh, get in there. We'll see. Some days I'm like, yeah, we could do that. And other days I'm like, oh, you know. But I like being home, but other days I'm like, but you're home all year. This would make it feel like, you know, it's like vacation. So we did like that part that it felt like we were on vacation. And kind of a little oasis, you know what I mean? Okay. I think I'm gonna do three at a time for a little bit just to get this done. I might not have to go till 9.30, which would be pretty awesome. Like if it's an hour and 15. Oops, that one just flew out. But at the same time, I'm like, should I start the other row? because it might mean that I don't get the other row after that done in two tries. Because I'm, go I'm gonna do like 20 minutes less, you know what I mean? Okay. Woohoo. One section left. Oh, two section. How did I miss that? Literally, I wonder if my drill container was on it or I'm just blind. That could be it too. <laughs> that could be it too. Let's finish the top one first. Just so we can get that out of the way. Yeah, I almost feel like I, I don't know, I was going to say I almost feel like I need to do an hour and a half to get it done, but I don't know. There. Okay. 
I thought there was more than an hour left. It's gonna be an hour here, or it's an hour right now. Yeah, 59 minutes, so, um, and I'm almost done. Awesome. We watch uh, Fire Country too. Love that show. So we're all caught up on that one. We're all caught up on that one. We watched the season finale, so that's awesome. We haven't started Grey's Anatomy yet, so we're trying to finish the ones that we've already kind of, you know, started and try to catch up on that. Meanwhile, you know, new episodes come in for, for the other ones, so then when we start on those, it's like we go one after the other after the other. Oh, I just noticed that the new Bridgerton is out. Yes. And I think the second part is just coming later. But the first part is there. And I saw that House of Dragons. The release is June 16th. So we'll probably get Crave for a month. And then we'll watch House of Dragons. Yes. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oops. Hot. Okay. Also, Dave is going to Las Vegas. I don't know when. It's in a bit. Anyway, I'm like, uh, your passport is either expired or it's going to expire. And he was like, no. I'm like, um, we better check it. And of course, it was expiring in June, the beginning of June. And it was before his trip. And I'm like, I told you. So anyway, and I said, and people were complaining how long passports were take, taking to get there. That was quite a bit ago, like probably a year ago. But I'm like, I don't know if it's still like that. I don't know if you're going to get your passport in time. Let's do S. And um, he put it, he went and got the picture taken. He put it in one week, like on a Monday, sent it in or went in at the office and sent it in. And he got it the next Monday. Unreal. Mine doesn't expire till next year. But now I know I'll probably, I think mine's May next year. So I don't need to, you know, don't need to do it now, but probably like in February or something, March, I'll get mine done. I don't think we have any plans to go anywhere, but we'll, uh, I'll get mine situated maybe the year after we'll be able to go somewhere to do one at a time and once in a while it's like I just do the three you know I know some people like them to be completely completely straight with my wrist it's almost impossible now and the way I look at it when I put the next one in it's gonna snap it into place so I'm not too, too worried about that. Getting straight, straight diamonds. 
Okay, we just have a couple rows left of the S. I think I'm gonna keep the AB ones for last. Cause they're not my favorite. To do. Yeah, I don't even go check now, like, which ones are available, like, as far as diamond painting, because I'm like, oh, it's too tempting. I saw one somebody was working on, that was like, I don't know, six months ago. I went and I put it in my cart, and <laughs> I almost pushed by, and I'm like, no, you said that you didn't want to do that, so don't do it. Self-control. Sometimes it's harder said than done, right? So we're going to do C now, which is DMC 301. 301. Get this one done. Yeah, it's going to be 15 to 20 minutes early, I think. to 20 minutes early. Okay. There. I forgot two blacks right there. Oh well. What I'll probably do is do the black last and then take take that one off. And you know what, this, I think I wanna start right here, this section and go the other way this time. I seem to do that. <laughs> I go from here and then I go that way. When I get there, I come back this way uh, instead of always starting left to right. And that's okay, just for something different. So when I take that off, there's going to be black, and it's a small section, so I should be definitely be able, maybe, to get it, do a little bit this session, and finish it next session. So now we're going to do A, which is DMC 783. It's yellow. It's yellow mellow. There's this one here, which is like a dark brown or, you know, a shade of black. If you can have a shade, or oh, we'll say a shade of gray. <laughs> here. So I'm going to start this week, I'm pretty sure, Chain of Gold. And that is almost 600 pages. I'm hoping to get it done before the end of the month. Hoping to get that one done. The catch, I'll probably have it done. Well, I was gonna say tomorrow, but I'm gonna have the baby tomorrow. Unless, now we're gonna do 52, which is DMC 3826, which is kind of like a magic wand. Unless I read for the, you know, 20 minutes that she goes to sleep. Might be able to get two chapters done during the day. <laughs> She doesn't sleep very long. Okay, now we're gonna do the three dots, which is 33. Is that it? Is that three dots? Is there anything else that's three something? Yeah, that's not that, that's, that's three dots, okay. Three dots is 47, which is, no, not 47. 33, 33, which is DMC 823. Yeah, it's like a, a black, just not black, black, black. Okay. So we're gonna start Chain of Gold. My next book is gonna be Steel Striker, which is 
the finale. It's a duology, and I read Sky Hunter like at the beginning of the month. So I got that from the library. It's a, it's a physical book, so. Um, okay, two is two. And then we'll do black. Oh, I must have pulled that off. It's right there, I think. Where'd it go? There. Um, so yeah, then I'll go to black. I need to use the rolly thing again on it. I think what I'm gonna do too is add more wax. On Friday, I'll try to do another session. I have a bunch of videos to film on Friday too because I don't have a live, so. And I'm, I'm doing a live on Saturday, but I think I'm ready for that one, so I don't have to do anything else for it. Okay, let's do black. Yeah, we have 20 minutes left, what I suspected. Just need to bring this up a little bit. Roll it one more down. Oh, we're gonna start the pocket watch soon. Let's do black, and I think black is seven. Yes, 310. Let's see if I can do all the black. I like to do the black first because then it divides it into section. And, you know, let's say if one day I'm like, ooh, I can't do a full day, but I still, or like a full timeline, like an hour and a half, I can only do half an hour. Then I can say, okay, well, I'm gonna finish this section and that'll be good. That'll have to do for today. It's better than doing nothing, right? That's what I have to keep telling myself. Even if you can't do the hour and a half, if you can do a half an hour, do that. It's better than not touching it for months and months and months and months and months. Okay. we done in the last little bit now that hockey's done man he uh, Dave always works late like if he goes into work I know I won't see him till like 6 37 and like this morning he left he was like 10 to 8 so it's long days So that's why I started walking by myself because I'm like, if I don't, I'm not gonna get my walks in all summer and I refuse to have another summer like last summer where I didn't walk. I have to say 34 kilometers is, is a lot. I don't think I'll be able to do that every week, but I'd like to at least walk four times so if I go today, I went yesterday, I want to go tomorrow with the baby. It's supposed to be really nice, so I'm going to go early with her. Um, pretty early. I might go right after she's done her nap. So at like 10.30, I'll go walk for an hour or 40 minutes or whatever. Then I'll come home and feed her her bottle and her lunch and all that. Because it's supposed to go up to 28 tomorrow, so that's kind of hot. Kind of hot. 
So that's what I thought too, is like this summer, I'll probably go for a walk as soon as she gets here, like at 7.30. And maybe Dave can come, you know, on the days that he works from home. Then he'll get his walk in. Because when I go walking by myself, that means that he doesn't get, he doesn't get to do his walk, right? I mean, at work, he has to park his car about a kilometer away from his work and he has to walk. But that's still just, you know, one kilometer and then one kilometer. So he still does like two in a day, but it's not in a row. And for it to be effective, you know, you have to do at least half an hour. At least. Yesterday we did 53 minutes. We did five kilometers. So it's almost 10 minutes a kilometer. We were, we were clocking under 10 minutes a kilometer at first. And then it was so warm and it, we, we didn't bring water. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we need water. Like we can't, we can't go walking on these warm days and not have water. It's too much. I get, I get really warm. <laughs> And it's so funny because I've always been the type that, you know, I'm freezing. I'm free. I'm always, always, always cold. And I'm, I'm done menopause. I just now, I just run hotter, I guess. Or if it, I still am cold. That's not true. It's just if I'm like, I'm not going to call it working out. But if I'm out walking or something like that, I get warm really quickly. Like Dave will have a big sweater and everything. And I have like shorts and, you know, and everything. Okay, I'm gonna put more black in there because it's hard to do three together if you have almost nothing. Somehow, for some reason, if it's a vertical line, I'd rather do three together, which is weird. You think horizontally would be easier, but for some reason, I just feel more comfortable with that. Straighten it out a little bit. I wonder how many folds I have left to unfold. Like we just did one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we still have a lot to do. <laughs> it's like six or seven. Still lots to do. It's okay. We will... take like that's two four six eight that's eight days that's a month right so each fold is a month so I have if I have six or seven I should be able to be done by the end of the year well that was worth it to do that to kind of figure that out Because you know, if I get really, really close and it's like, okay, I gotta do a um, couple times, I gotta do more. Because right now I'm doing two a week just to get caught up. And then after that, I'll. You know, do one a week to make it to 52, but if I notice that I 
I'm really close to finishing. And maybe I'll do it for a few more times. Uh, it says low battery. Hopefully it has enough for 10 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully I have enough for 10 minutes. Now, thankfully, when I film upstairs, I have, I can, I plug my phone in. So I don't have to worry about, oh no, I have to charge my phone now and to keep filming. I'm still in my PJs though, so I gotta go in put shorts on and get dressed and and then I'll go upstairs. That won't take long. Literally, I I said, oh, I want to start, you know, this early in this morning. I woke up at 7. And I'm like, oh, I'm still so tired. Normally, what I would do is try to read for, you know, an hour before I get up. I didn't do that this morning, so now... I'm going to have to do extra this afternoon. That's okay. After I finish my live, perfect time. I was going to do maybe burrito bowls this afternoon for supper, but eh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I have some avocados I have to use. So I was gonna make some guacamole, which I've never done before, but that's never stopped me before. <laughs> um, I just don't know if I'm gonna have the oomph. This one has a burr. Let's get that out of there. Yeah, that's never stopped me before, so I can see. It's just whether or not I have the oomph to do it, that's all. Do I have the oomph? I hope the battery lasts until I'm done. So the catch what that book is about, it's like a, a adult um, romance, I guess, or it is a girl, she's an influencer, influencer, and it's like fashion on Instagram. And it's not going very well, like she keeps losing subscribers and stuff. And then this company that does like resorts in Nova Scotia says, hey, we'd like you to come and stay at our resort all on us. You just need to do, you know, X, Y, and Z videos, you know, so many videos about our resort. So she's like, oh, sure, you know, that maybe that's going to help boost my social media or whatever. She didn't say that to them, but that's what she's thinking, right? So she goes, she gets at the airport, calls them, and they say, oh, we had a mix-up. We have you booked for next week. And I mean, they had paid for her flight and everything, so I don't know how they managed to do that. But anyway, they said, we're booked. We can't, you know, da-da-da. So then that's like the first chapter, so it's really not a spoiler. And... Um, so she has to find, and it's like a big weekend for something. I can't remember. So she can't find anything in the big city. So she f ends up finding a little a uh, Air Airbnb outside of the city, like an hour and a half. And the story develops from there. It's so cute. So cute. And there was something happened yesterday. And I literally laughed out loud, like... Laughed out loud. Oh, all I'm going to say is the shower scene. Oh my gosh, I laughed. If you read the book, you'll know. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. So it's not often that, you know, the whole book is not like that, but that, there was a few instances where I kind of giggled, but there I laughed out loud. 
<laughs> I did. Even reread it so that I could laugh again. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Well, how come you went over there? Stay with your friends. Holy, I um, don't mind if they're a little crooked, but man, not even on the, see, I have, oh, I know I have one to put on my pen. I need to find that. Now I bought metal tips. Now I never put them on because I've seen a few people complain about them because they break their pens and I'm like, oh, I don't want to put that on my pen. Okay, we have five minutes. What could we do in five minutes? I think I could do those C's in five minutes. So C, 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 C is number six. I probably could have done those too, but it's okay. I'll just do the C's and get that little border all done up. I don't know if I could finish the rest of that in one session. It'll probably be two, and then the, the second one, I'll probably do quite a bit of this one, right? So we'll find out on Friday. Okay. So yeah, usually I have quite, a, I read quite a few books in a, like in tandem, but the, lately I've just have been having the one, like I said, I have the audiobook for when I walk, but I just have the one and I read through it. There's a couple times I read like maybe 40 pages of another one. And that's just so that when I finish the one I'm really focusing on, then I don't have to start a brand new book because I don't like starting new books. I really don't. So if I can get my 100 pages done today in that book, I think I'll start Steel Striker. And again, just reading 20, 30 pages just to get me in it. So that by the time I finish the catch, which I'm thinking, like I said, I didn't have the baby, I would be finishing it tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, C's are done. C's are done. Oh, I still have three minutes. Oh, two minutes, two minutes. Okay, what could I do in two minutes? The fives, I could do the fives in two minutes. So that's 19. That is DMC 602. I should be able to finish that. So while I'm finishing that, um, so yeah, let me know how long it takes you to get a diamond painting this size, like a 22 inch by 43 inch or a 56 by 109 centimeters. How long does it take you to get a diamond painting like that done? For me, obviously, it's more than a year. <laughs> I've been working on it for two years, but uh, you know, to be fair, last year I didn't do too much, but basically a year to get it done, a little over a year. So that's it, we're gonna end it here. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. If you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.